Greetings everyone, John Mead back here. We're looking now at uh, the Rising Star Expedition update for the date of November 17th, which is a Sunday. And you're going to see it's a uh, it's kind of a short day here. Uh, the team took part of Sunday off to catch up with so, some rest and relaxation. And so we'll start um, down here with the last thing we had uh, for last night with uh, Hominin 289 log today. So again, coming up close to 300. And our first tweet from today is with John Hawks. I'm up early this morning to begin the day at Rising Star. First order of business dealing with a local creationist. So um, apparently there are issues even in South Africa in dealing with those issues, which we certainly have here in the States. Don't know any more detail about that. Hopefully we'll get something on that down the line. And then Dr. Berger brings in that um, we have the team headed in to begin day 12 on site. Then a little little fun here, uh, Caver Steve, and I, I should take a moment and explain, when they use the reference Caver, those are the spelunkers, if you will, who are supporting the science cavers, um, and the often referred to as the advanced team. And so these are the guys who are making sure that the scientists are safe. And Caver Steve comes up with a glowing orange fresh jumpsuit, gets cat calls because he won't stay clean for long. And in that cave, that is definitely the case. I wish we had pictures on that one. <laughs> and then here, um, Dr. Berger, we're scanning and collecting a material in a new area, Becca Fitz, but someone with long arms needs to do the scan. So that's, uh, you can see the need for uh, reaching further into the available space. And next up, we uh, have John Hawks here and cueing the dramatic music. Basically, Berger talking about how, how high-res scanning will change archaeology. And indeed, in my visit this past July, I was really impressed with the ability of the team to have a block that was taken from the field where you couldn't see into it with the naked eye. But the high-res scanning that was done made it possible to know exactly what was in there and whether it was going to be worth the team's effort to go in and process out whatever they needed to do which is so that is definitely a big big plus and another uh, another thing here very exciting having a great conversation with Berger and Andrew Howley who's with National Geographic about how to best share our skeletal element list the fact that this team is interested in sharing that is really impressive okay again most of the work that's been done in this field over the years has been really really secretive that things don't get pub put in the public realm until they've been published and here obviously this entire expedition has us going on looking at, at things as they pretty much come out of the ground just unheard of and many many thanks for all of what you guys are doing on that front and then here are the underground astronauts at work we've seen a number of these uh, these images so you see the advanced scientists in the chamber there um, can't get much detail from this but just a nice working image there and then we come back up and we're pretty much done for the day here an early end for the day underground at rising star giving everybody a bit of a break and then we come up and um, after folks are up uh, Hawks continues that Lindsay the area where the skull was I like to call the puzzle box because there's so much stuff tangled up and that seems to be the theme of this expedition there is just so much stuff down there and again they have barely scratched the surface They've literally just gotten stuff off of the surface. And then Alia, one of the advanced team members, uh, we're saying we'll be coming home with a personalized memento. Archaeologists dig scars, right? So we don't know um, exactly what happened there, but um, hopefully she's okay. Sounds like there's a sense of humor involved there. And here we have the final tweet of the day. Coming from Hawks, a quiet evening here at Rising Star, full moon, firelight, shooting stars, tomorrow, a half day rest for the crew. So that will be um, something we'll be aware that tomorrow uh, it should be another short day. Um, I know from hearing from some of the team members that some members of the team have had to head back already. I know uh, Steve Churchill has headed back because he has teaching responsibilities at Duke University and the like. So, um, so the team looks like they will be out probably until the end of November and then this uh, this project will wrap up at that point 
I will tell you that uh, I have a special treat heading in for uh, for tomorrow, where uh, Lindsay has helped share something with us that you'll uh, I think you'll appreciate. So reason to come back and check in tomorrow. Thanks a lot, and have a good night.